Get him. Beat him up. Beat him up. Chase him down. Punch him. Wait. Wait. Go. You can't get away. I buy a little eight stack. Wait a minute. What the hell's going on up here? Oh, Brandenburg ain't playing games. I like it. We can actually get Denmark out of this. It's actually pretty good. Cause that means if Brandenburg's up there, they're beating the crap out of them right now. I wonder, and I'm kind of curious, can we get anything from the Danes up here? That would actually be fun. Imagine if we get this and this. Just two little islands out in the Baltics. I don't know. That probably means I wouldn't be able to get the other territories. I think we'll worry about the mainland. We'll worry about Eastern Europe. That's my priority at the moment. So you guys are getting that. I don't think there's a fort here. Is there? No, so Brandenburg can get that back easy. Alright, so that's good. Hungary is sending its army back down here for whatever reason. You guys are good. Go ahead. We're going to replace the level 3 general. We need our god general. He is going to head this way and go help against that other three-star. You guys can head here to Pest and guard it. Because that's actually a pretty big problem is this three-star general. I think he's going to consistently get wars going and cause more problems for us. Okay, good. You guys ended that. Go ahead and head down here. We're going to see if we can, we can surround this guy and kill him. That's what we're aiming for right now. We're going to see if we can get the shot, we can close them off. Alright, so that's where he's going, is to Wayne. You guys are going to go ahead and head here too, and then you guys go in and fight them. And then you guys will get reinforcements here shortly. These guys will make it first. They're actually doing a really good job, they're beating them up pretty badly. Reinforcements just arrived, but they got away. Where are they headed to? Where are they headed to? Recall the diplomat. Let's see where they go. Let's see where they go. Okay, so they're running up north. So, go ahead and hit here to Wismar. You guys head here to Lundberg. And then where's my other army? Non three star. Go ahead and head down here. Yeah, it looks like they're running north. So, it looks like. Wait, no. They're going somewhere to the left. The hell are you going? They're still running further west. I don't know where that army went. You want peace yet? I like it. How much money can I get out of you? I would like to get all the money. Ooh, yeah, a thousand ducats, that'll do us great for a while. Um, you're weak, go ahead and head back down here. We're just gonna use the two uh, other stacks. So, go ahead and head here, and then you guys are actually moving up here. Go down here, we're gonna figure out where this army went. Cause it ran west, and I don't know why it ran that way. And then we're good there, so go ahead and get me war exhaustion down. And then pretty soon we get this, and then that'll give us cost of reducing war exhaustion. And then we only need one more for this admin tech to get it done. And only one more, or about, eh, I think we're about, we're almost halfway there to getting that one done. Okay, so that army actually ran back down here. Go ahead and head there. Why did you run down here now, my friend? Punch him in the face, punch him in the face. I dare get the crane. Oh no, they're going down there. Go down there, support Brandenburg. Support Brandenburg, damn it. Oh my god, Brandenburg's kicking our ass with 14,000 men. Here come the Poles! <laughs> 
Oh, no stack light. Where the hell are they going when they go west, though? Three, 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 one. That actually ain't bad. That's pretty average, but it's not bad. I can work with it. Go ahead and head here. All right, so this will siege down the remaining lands here. This will help us. Can we get more money out of them yet? What's the lowest amount they're willing to give at this point? Because that army just got beat again. A little bit. We're at 83% war score. Do you want out yet? Yes, you do. Do you want to give us your money? How much money can I get? If I can't get much, I don't care. 419 ducats. I'll take that because Brandenburg will get most of it. I'll get some of it. This will make it to where Hungary is by itself, so it's probably going to want more peace than anything. How about we do that, and then we'll make them end their alliance with Denmark. Nope, they don't want to end it. How about I just take all your money? That's 1,200 ducats. We'll go for it. Alright, the war is over, and mighty Poland has grown larger. We have a lot to goddamn core. <laughs> we are going to suffer some instability prawns for a goddamn while. So go ahead and head here, guys. Um, you're going to go there. You're going to head up here. You guys can head down right here. Because I actually got to destroy this fort. Destroy the fort there. And we're going to see if I can build a new fort. No, we cannot. What is here that is blocking us? Uh, regimental camp, I'm not concerned, so we're going to get rid of that. Did I not get rid of it? No, 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 no. No. Clicked the wrong thing by accident. So let's go ahead and get the fort here. And then we will go ahead and see what we can go ahead and core. So we can core one province pretty much. So we're going to hold out and I'm going to see if I get the 20% uh, one done. So, how's Poland's name looking? Eh, it's getting there, it's getting there. So I'm hoping maybe this means that Bohemia or Brandenburg can take up this territory. Um, um, I do know for one of the missions, I think it did make mention of getting control of Silesia. Um, but I don't see that ever happening. So, yeah. Yeah, we would need Silesia. So that ain't happening anytime soon. So that's never going to happen, actually. Uh, can we get these things done again? No, we cannot. All right. So I think it's actually we might be a little bit over time. So I might go ahead and just play for another 15 minutes just to make two episodes out of this because this was actually really fun. Um, so as I was saying, so basically what we have here is we're going to be suffering from a lot of aggressive expansion. That's because I'm going to absorb as much of Serbia and Hungary as I can in a short amount of time. Um, Serbia is guaranteed by Hungary. Um, I wouldn't recommend them going back to war with me anytime soon. They're already largely in debt. I'm assuming most of their army is just sitting there and it's going to get beat up. And I don't think they want that because all I'm going to do is vassalize Serbia. I, I don't care. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and declare one more war to get this done. And then we'll spend what... And we're not going to core anything from it because it's just vassalized... Um, just vassalize uh, Serbia and we're in and out real quick. Um, that might get the AE up higher. Um, as far as I can see it, Bohemia pretty much hates us for it. Hungary pretty much hates us for it. Um, a lot of other countries are pretty angry too. Um, how many we got free? We got, we got several. So let's go ahead and we'll do another outrage country one. That way people aren't nearly as mad. Hopefully that'll lower the AE a little bit. So my big worry is that everybody's going to suddenly get really mad at me as playing as Poland. So how are we doing on tech? We're not doing too bad. Military tech's still going crazy. I think we can go ahead and spend some of that military power on this. We'll strengthen our government. It'll give us more legitimacy. And I ain't going to spend the points on anything else. So it does make sense to do it. Um, so that one's getting that build added. So we actually can go ahead and just start spending this. So. Let's go ahead and try to get the cheap ones done first for coring. Good, we'll get four done. That'll lower us hopefully beneath the 100%. Actually, no, it's already at under the 100%, so we're actually pretty good. And with the plus three stability we're getting, it's going probably better than what we could expect. 
Um, financially, I th once the corruption is gone, it looks like we are suffering a little bit. The overextension, okay, so overextension is going to hurt our income for a bit, so that sucks, but we should be fine. Um, admin, we ain't going to get this last tech before the, we're not going to get this new idea before the tech comes in, so we're probably going to have to wait it out. Um, I might wait on getting that done. Let's go ahead and get Romanian, do 99, and then we have one more culture we can accept, and it's either going to, I think we're probably going to end up doing Albanian. Is. I don't plan on doing anything with Serbia. I might give them back the lands that they already had. Uh, not, I mean, Kosovo is really nice for the gold. It's a nice income base. We can always switch at the coal in the future. I just don't see the reasonings behind it yet. Also, nearly forgot. It's nearly 1700. Get that built. We need a university. We need the enlightenment. If we luck out and it pops up here in... Uh, Poland, then we ain't got to worry about it. Alright. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Alright, so we're doing really well at this point. I mean, I'm really surprised at how well the um, campaign has gone with that. I, f I was very concerned Austria would be in alliance with them, but as far as I'm saying it, Austria ain't going to get a chance to do anything with them until 1693, and there's no guarantee that they'll align again. As for our alliance goes, we actually can get two more. So let's see, we did that friendly relations with Britain, and Britain does want it. Yes. Alright, so now we have a bigger advantage. Now all of a sudden we got an alliance that Austria already has, and it's Great Britain. Can they send, will they send troops to support me? Who the hell knows? <laughs> I've noticed that a lot when I would play this game. I would hope they would send troops to me. And what ends up happening is they don't send me a goddamn thing and they just sit there on their island and just laugh at me. Saying, haha, we're allied, but you deal with all the problems. Have fun. So, at the very least. Maybe we gain something out of it. I don't know. We just hope the alliance works out. Very least, we get their navy if they send their navies to help us out. Just as good. Yes. Which should make Austria happy because we do have similar um, alliances. As for Brandenburg, Brandenburg has an alliance with Switzerland question is do I care not really it really hate me <laughs> but I'll accept it now uh, let's see which one can we get next let's go ahead and do the expensive ones now because this fort's still getting built and I want the fort done beforehand uh, assign province to client state no all right so the coring is getting done. Is the income still getting hurt pretty badly? Yeah, because it's still overextended. So we're still getting a 0.49. However, with the rooting out corruption, it's enough to where it won't increase. But it will keep costing us. I did notice that. It seems like Poland suffers more overextension into corruption than other countries. Because when I played as Great Britain, I don't think we ever had an issue with um, overextension, at least from what I know. At least from what I remember. I mean, we took all Brunei, we took the Philippines, we pretty much took all this territory, and we had overextension of like a hun over 100%, and I never had corruption. So I don't know if the corruption was trying to build up, and I was making enough income-wise that counteracted it, or if the game just said, well, we don't give a damn. Alright, go ahead and get this. We're going to just try to get these cores done as fast as we can. It might actually get us behind on uh, the admin tech. There is a risk there for that. Oh no, we lost the leader. Oh, the good pole down in the south. Good thing we have a lot of military. 3632. Oh, right. Three star general. Man, this has gone too well. So, the next provinces, as I was saying, is we're going to try to get northern and southern Transylvania. Who the hell's beating them up? 
Let's go ahead and get you guys out of there. You guys will retreat. Who the hell's beating up Venetians? Is that Mantua again? No, that's goddamn Hungary. Hungary, why are you beating up Venetians? Why you not? Wait a minute. Is this a war? Defender against Venice in the Venetian-Hungarian Imperialist War. Ah. So, at least from what I'm saying, it looks like... It looks like Venice is trying to take the uh, Balkans. They want to get into Bosnia. Interesting. I see a rival. Force the merchants to lower the prices. Piss off a bunch of peasants. Lose money. We got money. <laughs> that means he probably won't help Serbia. Now. Time is it? Alright, so I think we actually might be able to do that. So, let's let these guys do this. Um, we'll send this one army in. It'll beat them up and then... Bygones be bygones. Let's go ahead and head here to Sophia. You go ahead and get ready to get me another core done. Here in one second. Let's wait. Let's get that army back. And then we'll declare war. We'll attack them in Nice. And then... Oh, we have another one over here in Kosovo. That does not bode well. Yeah, those rebellions are going to be a bitch. So let's go ahead and do you... I'm surprised they don't make Lithuanian an already accepted culture. That's kind of weird in my opinion. Did you figure since we're in a personal union, I'd be already accepting of their culture? Another thing I wish they also let you do is I wish if you were in a personal union, you can tweak with them more. Like, if I wanted to, like, take, like, a province from them, I can take a province from them. Because if I took just one goddamn province, I think I can form the, um, the, uh, Commonwealth. Which I would like to have done, but seeing as it won't go that way, as far as I'm concerned, we're keeping Poland. And I mess with this shit. When when can I do that again? Until 1697. That sucks. Alright, so this army's pretty much as built up as it's going to get. It's got all of its cannons back. It's got the majority of the infantry and just missing a few calves. So I say, let's go ahead and do it. Hungary's not going to join. Austria and the other one to join, but I'm not going to make them. I can beat them up by myself. <laughs> yes, die, Serbs, die. Mamluk's opinion minus 30, Bohemia's opinion minus 30. Hmm. Both I don't care about, but I hate the Mamluks more. Just because they're savages, and I want to kill them one day. So what we'll do is we'll do this, and then the idea is Polish vassal. We'll put a leader of ours in power, eventually they'll learn to enjoy it, and then that's what we deal with. You guys just... I don't know. Wait a minute. I can't send my... I was about to say, yeah, I was about to say. If they're moving their armies to me, god damn it, I better be able to push it to them. Alright. So, Catholicism still alive down here. Reformed is pushing in because of goddamn Venice. I'm really surprised with this religious map mode. This religious map mode is just hell. I, I can't even imagine this. Ooh, I dumped two points. And it'll be fine. Alright, so we can get a new idea. I think we'll hold out. I'd rather hold out to get the new tech. Good, you guys are pushing there. They don't have enough troops to take my goddamn fort. Send the god general up to kill him. Punch him in the face. You guys are almost done here. That'll secure us that. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys saw the god general right thing and you ran away. Cowards. Why fight a war if you don't like getting punched in the face by the poles? I didn't do that. I'll just destroy that. So I actually do want to get a little bit of money out of us. Out of uh, Oslis, you can get money. It's not much, but better than none. Get war reps from them. I don't know what else I'd want. There's not really much else I'd want out of them. God, damn Serbs, kill them! Kill them! Hell yeah, I forgot, we're gonna end up having to build another fort here. That sucks. Good, some of those cores are getting done finally. Thank God. That's gonna save us any pr problems in the future. Go ahead and push there, kill them off, take their capital. How far along are you guys? Wow, you guys haven't even got that thing on fire yet. Look, they're dealing with rebels now. They want peace. Nope. How far along is it? Good, they backed off there. You guys head here. Here we punching. Eh, hey, we got the Serbs. Is that this one? Yes. Go ahead and head down here next, gentlemen. Yeah, without the army, I don't know what they're going to do. They like I said, I want to try to see if we can get the resources from these guys. Because now it looks like they're starting to get really beat up. Alright, you guys got that. Go ahead and head here and kill the peasants. Yeah, slaughter them. I meant just a little bit of genocide. Not a lot of genocide, just a little bit. Enough not to anger everybody. And the big problem is going to be is if me vassalizing them will that anger anybody. That'll be Hungary, Serbia, Nuremberg, and Venice. I don't care about Venice. They're not powerful enough to do anything to me. Their alliances aren't that great. Okay, we got that back. This one's nearly done. Almost. Come on. Make them learn. You guys can head there to the farmland, you guys will be fine. Make them learn, come on. Come on, what are we gonna get? What's the dice roll? So we'll do that. We'll get the peace going. Um, don't really care about whatever else. Yeah, could just make them in all their alliances just to be an ass. Yeah, that works. Ah, how you're all by yourself. Somebody's gonna kill you. All right, good. So you guys are good here. You guys go ahead, head back to Warsaw. You gentlemen, head down here to Constantinople. I feel like that's gonna be the big problem now. So, Serbia is now the war, we just gotta wait for a diplomat to return, then we're gonna make them accept the peace treaty. I'm not going to take any of their money, because I want them to be financially somewhat sound at the end of this. And now they're happy. Ooh, they hate us. <laughs> Ooh, they hate us. But I'm fine with that. So what we're gonna do is, 
We're going to put a relative on the throne, and then we're going to place eight rulers twice. And then over the course of time, they'll learn to like us again. And then what I'll end up doing is if Venice doesn't take any of this territory, I'll end up giving it to Serbia to grow a little bit. And I think that's where we'll actually end the episode. I'll wait for my armies to get in position, and then I'm going to start training them once they get there. Um, Serbia is going to be a problem for a little bit, um, vassalization-wise. Um, they're not going to have a big army. Um, probably for a little while. I can grant them provinces, but seeing as I want all this for myself, um, I don't see any reasons to. Um, the main goal that we're going to have as Poland is the two territories we're going to want after this war is over is northern... Ooh, what's this? Go ahead and end that. i got to figure out where this goes. Gain money. Did that pop? Oh, right up next war song. Okay. So, we're going to see if we can get control of, as I was saying, northern and southern Transylvania. That'll finally connect Poland into one gigantic country for the first time in a very long time. Um, another thing I would like to do is, since we have some extra money, is we're going to get another fort. It's going to get built up here. This will safeguard everything in these three. This one is protecting this one. So, the forts are in place. And I think that's all the level fours we need. No, we still got to build one here. We got to build another one here. Um, I guess we could put one here in Warsaw, just to protect that inner territory a little bit better. But it looks like we have them all finally. So level four forts are going to be built in all the major provinces. So we're going to need the one here in Warsaw because in case somebody happens to break through this fort. They can't just go east into Lithuania like Hungary did. If they take this fort, they can push up to here, but because this one's blocking it, again, they're not able to, the AI is not able to just glitch its way through and push into Lithuania. That's my biggest problem I noticed that we suffered in that war was it seemed like everybody was able to bypass what I had, and it screwed me. So in preparation to that, now we're ready to deal with it. So uh, let's see what else can I do real quick. Krakow. Increase your military by a little bit. We're going to hold up for this last admin thing so I can or admin points to get this uh, last province cord. And then I think overextension should be lowering itself more and more. So this should go away for rooting out corruption. Because it's now at 1.77 where I think it was at like 6 something ducats. So I'll wait till we get the points. I'll get that thing started the core. And then we should be fine after that. And I can go ahead and end this. Because I think this is like another hour recording, because I think I started around 11.20 something, but seeing as how Imperialism kicked in and game got interesting, I wanted to keep going. Alright, last tick. Okay, that is getting done. We have an advisor that looks like they passed away. Let's do the Nash. Eh, well, we're not suffering unrest. Let's go for the modifier for th this. I think that makes more sense. So, with that, let's go ahead and pause the game. So, again, uh, this is where we're going to kind of lay off of this. So, we got a little bit of money. Increase the fleet size to 40 ships for the galleys. And then I think we're going to be good. So, that'll build 11 ships for us. Um, financially, we are making money finally. We're getting there in the bank. We're doing well now finally as Poland. That was what I think was kind of holding us back a little bit was just the financial game. So, as I said, we got a, we got about one. I think we got two forts upgrading. We're building two forts and we're building one uh, fort in Warsaw. We're building another one here in uh, Trenton, here in Slovakia. That'll guard all this territory. We got the one down here in Wallachia. So pretty much everything is safeguarded up to that point. So the next thing we got to do is we got to decide where we're going to build level six forts. Now, I'm going to build probably three fort, build all three of these ones up almost immediately. Because now I don't see too much of a threat coming from Europe. Um, Hungary was a big issue because of the alliance game they had. Um, is I think as long as Austria doesn't... Um, bring an alliance back with them, I think we'll be fine. My big fear now is 
Austria hates us by a minus 21 because of aggressive expansion. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. We may have to let um, a little bit of time go by so that AE goes down. Because as we see, Hungary hates us. Serbia hates us. Bohemia hates us a fair bit. Venice hates us. Augsburg hates us. Austria's at minus 21. Brandenburg's at minus 18. So the alliances are starting to get strained a little bit. Brandenburg don't care. They have a minus 185. So that's good for us. But Austria doesn't. And that's my big worry at this time. I don't want to lose this alliance. It's too vital. Austria isn't as strong as it could be. But because they own Austria and Iberia, they do have a pretty good sized army. They could probably punch us pretty good. The alliance with Great Britain seems like it's doing fine. I don't think they care too much about the AE problems. No, they don't. So, with that, I think we're now out 5 out of 5. So, Serbia is now our vassal. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the dynastic action once it kicks in. Um, so, we'll get them as another vassal. They'll learn to love us one way or another. So, ooh, Austria. Dynastic. We'll actually wait another day, couple days. I want to get this in. So, thanks to imperialism, Poland was able to grow a bit larger. So, again, next time we come back to this, I think I might have to stop going after Hungary as much, and we're going to have to make a decision on who to go after next. Um, okay, Russia seems like it's fixed itself. It's got 51 mercenaries, but it's starting to get the cannons up. So, I don't know. They must be at war with somebody. They're at war with no guy. Chaotic goddamn mess. <laughs> so, or no guy, the Tims. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so when we come back, small chance I'll go after Russia. Very, very small, very small. Um, if we do, um, I haven't decided what we'll do yet. Um, Territorial-wise, I don't think there's too many countries I could actually release from them. I think that's the main thing I would end up doing is trying to release a country. Um... I don't really want their lands. I mean, the most I'd give to is Lithuania, and I don't care enough. I don't think they really need it. Um, I might even out some of their territory. That way they have control of an entire state. But after that, I'd be taking it for myself. Um, St. Petersburg would be a nice grab for them, but it's their capital. And I'm pretty sure with AE as a problem already as it is, I don't think I can do it. I think too many countries would hate me for it. And if I had to do a coalition with Russia included into it, Poland's going to shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> um, another thing we could do is we could always go war with the Mamluks. Um, they only have 14,000 men in the bank. I have 105,000. The only way I could really fight them is if I can convince every other country to join it. They have semi-decent alliances still. I mean, if Brandenburg, Austria, Lithuania, Serbia all join in on this, we got a chance. Without them, I don't think we stand much of a chance. I don't think this war would work out in our favor. I don't think anybody would even try to come up to this. And with them having over 200,000 troops, I don't even come close in matching them militarily. The only thing we would have on is the fact that manpower is starting to get very, very, very low there. And it looks like, yeah, they're at war with the Tims again. So that's probably why the Timurids haven't beaten the Russians up. It's because Timurids are getting attacked by Mamluks and the Russians. So their army's probably getting the crap beat out of it up to this point. Um, and as you guys can see, zero manpower with over 100 mercenaries. So that doesn't bode well for them. So um, no, I've been babbling on like I usually do. But again, guys... Um, this will be it for this episode into the recording session. So, again, if you guys have been enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. If you want to, let me know down in the comments how you guys have been enjoying it. See if there's anything I can approve on. As far as I see it, I think we're doing pretty well. I think most people would agree that the slow, advanced pace we got, it's like usually around the six. Usually once imperialism kicks in, that's usually when I recommend go all out. It's usually a small grind, a slow grind until that age gets hit. As soon as it hits, you can expand. And as you guys can see, I took a lot of land, and even though AE is pretty high, it could be much worse. So, again, if you guys have been doing that, please do so. And, again, have a very wonderful day, and thank you ever so much for watching these videos. Thank you.